Oh, well, that's a dead person. She's bleeding out of her eye holes. There's a fair bit of eye violence in this game. <laughs> Day one, Friday. All right. Bloom Park, Friday, 10.45 p.m. Yeah, she's dead. And I'm assuming these are the police. Tutorial, invest- What the heck is this dude? Over here. Investigation. During investigations, the main character date or date? One of those inspects the scenes and collects testimony date okay that's what i thought the main character date inspects scenes and collects testimony progress by examining objects and talking to people okay date's position is fixed but you can move the cursor and your view try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it Oh, move. Oh, that's just moving the cursor. Move sight. Wait. Oh, okay. Let me move this then. Spaces investigate. Well, let's start over here. A horse from merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. Wait, what? The park was already in this state before the crime. Oh. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Okay. So that's not related. This rain is depressing. It is, has it been like this all day? Well, I'm sure that's not the killer's doing either. Bench? It's a bench. <laughs> God. Oh wait, I can change my view by um, right-clicking too. The city skyscrapers crowd each other. Okay, Par parasol? Parasol is getting pelted by the rain. Okay. Oh, more skewered horses. I'm assuming those are the same. Barrier. A red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used yellow caution tape for this. Now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape. Okay, so we're in the fucking future, guys. Um, Ferris wheel. The old Ferris wheel is over here. It feels like an enormous eye staring down at you. Yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna get a lot of eye imagery up in this beach roof. It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten to it pretty bad. Control room. Is this the control room? The place where the operator sits to turn the right on and off? I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Okay. What are you looking at? Something on the floor? There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round, probably to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery. Well, let's, uh... Column. It's the main column holding the roof. 
horse. It's a horse from the merry-go-round. Corpse. Let's talk to the dude. I think green words means new text. When you speak to a person, you will be presented with choices and look. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you are speaking to. Look. An inspector from Metro. I hope he finds a lead. What's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. Suddenly I regret that. This guy's voice is ridiculous. It's Kagami, sir. Oh, Kagami! Thanks for coming out here. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, Kagami. Not yet, sir. Okay, so we haven't found anything yet to go on. I want to wait to look at the corpse until we've touched literally everything else. Okay, that's just the barrier. There's another skewered horse. That's another bench. This is our boss? Any suspects? So what am I doing here who found the body? This rain is awful, huh? Any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. Wait, a copycat? From the case six years ago. Oh, from the case six, case years, six ago. years ago. Why are my eyes two different colors? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago? Well, what the fuck, dude? I'm, shouldn't I know about this if this is a copycat killing? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. They found the corpse. Yeah. So either she's been dead for two hours or someone was just screaming and the corpse happened to be there already? Thing is, the caller was anonymous. Of course they were. I'll give you the details later. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain important information or clues. Selecting log will allow you to recap any previous conversations. So what am I doing here? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> You're special agent Kaname Date. Date. <laughs> Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. Oh. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Oh. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? Wait, I do? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Wait, shouldn't that be why we aren't- shouldn't be involved with the case? It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Well, except all the ones, like, in here, right? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? Uh, yeah, sure. What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. Well, damn. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. I call her boss. She runs Abyss. A special branch of the Metro Police Department. I report directly to her. Right now she's standing in the pouring rain with her umbrella up. Okay, what about these dudes? A local cop. Look. A local cop. <laughs> Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. It's a fence. Okay, well, I guess let's go talk to the corpse then. What's up, corpse? Apparently we know you. The body is mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? Wait, what? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Well, chop chop! 
Allow me to assist you. <gasps> I don't know why this is so cute. It looks like it should be creepy, but that's Iba. Her official designation is AI Ball. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An AI for an eye. Heh. <laughs> Wait, that's in his eye? Is this whole thing in his head or is this just like a graphical representation? <laughs> we have fucking AI sight. You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Okay. Iba vision modes. While playing through the- Oh my god, it's so fucking cute, dude. While playing through the story, Iba's special vision modes may help you obtain new information. You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target. Select a zoom and examine the corpse. You can also view the controls in F1. Mm, can we just- It's a- Excuse me. It's a horse from the merry go Let's look at this. Free cursor. Middle click. Middle click, maybe? We can use with the mouse? Mm -hmm. No. Wait. Wait, what? Is there no way to zoom with only the mouse? Oh, you have to click on the target first, okay. I see. I see. Oh, you only have one eye missing. For some reason, I thought both of her eyes were missing. Pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. Oh, thank you. Is she still warm? I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Wait, in my body or? Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Yep, that typically is what vacant left means. Eye. <gasps> just like our left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. You think she took her own Crow eyeball out? Some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. Yeah, that seems unlikely. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Oh well, that's a yikes. Carved it out while she was still alive. Correct. Okay. The arm. victim's arms are tied behind her back with rope. The same rope wraps around her body and the pole directly behind her. No. Why would they do that? Maybe to keep her still while they pull her eye out? Although this doesn't look like that much blood. Although I guess her eye wouldn't bleed that much, Multiple would it? Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Okay. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. Wait, so she died before the that scream then. The crime occurring around 5 p.m. Several puncture wounds with no cuts or tears, that means- The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Pick. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Okay, the noise came from Date, inside. Use me to see through the column. Oh, you have fucking x-ray vision too, bitch? Jesus. Utilize the x-ray mode. All right, then. X-ray. Is there a person in there? Oh my god, there is a person in there. Oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Ugh, so much for footprints or whatever. Hey, wait! Shut up! Shut up! I pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It 
won't budge. Just smash it. it. From the inside. Damn it. Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. Oh, that seems not like a good idea. Wait, you have the murder weapon? Izuki. This seems a little too convenient. Also, we know this person? Where is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. You are? This... Wait. What? You're... Wait, what the fuck is going on? Wait, what the fuck is going on? Where do I even start with this? <laughs> what? I can answer all of your queries. Why are you moving like that? All right then. Who are you? That is like the fucking least of my questions right now. I'm me, of course. Oh. I know that voice. Iba? That's who it sounds like. Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. What? Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... Shrimps are good. What are you doing in my dream? You called me. I did? My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. Of myself? But I shouldn't waste time or further. my eyeball. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. Wait, what? I'm trying to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now, so things that I should know, I can't remember. My head is all fuzzy. It's because you got too close to Sin's toxin. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Sounds like he's putting that aside. Disassociating. Do you this room? Uh no. No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. What do you mean you suppose? Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan. Activate. What? Wait, what? Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. You you scanned my what, Neum? Hey, what's up, Scorch? How are you? My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental lock number one. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Uh, yeah, clearly. Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. 
Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Unlock them? Um, remove the mental locks? <laughs> Correct. Wait, and why are we trying to do this? So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Oh god, you say that. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. Fucking go over there. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Okay, that sounds inappropriate. I'm great. That's good. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. Oh, Jesus, Date. Sinking in the brain. Wake Date up. Date's dream world. In this strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up Date. Somnium. Insomnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. Turn on the light. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. First, move Iba closer to the door and investigate. Okay. Door. A door locked with a padlock. When investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Iba instructions. For now, have Iba investigate the door. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Yes. Why are you jacking off that door? Hmm. I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Samia. A reality built by dreams. Make the skeleton do it. He's built of dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. That's how you investigate? By jacking off the door? <laughs> Shut up and listen. Wow. Date, look at that. That, yep, that, that's the some light. The where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Wait, was there just a person there? Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I'm guessing it's this guy? I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. Is it your dad? You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Open all the windows. Don't forget that I have a veto. Objects to investigate. In the Somnium world, you're able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Iba over to it. Investigate. Turn on the light? Wait, what? Can I... Oh, I can move the view too. Okay. I guess I can't just open a window. Although I'm curious. Okay. Wow, this is a weird kitchen. Okay, so we have a switch and we have a winter iris. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. God damn it, Iba. Why do you keep saying the fucking most obvious shit? A flower with a woman's name. Wait, because it's an iris? Are you sure the woman doesn't have a flower's name? Grab smell. 
Ooh. Let's uh, smell it. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? What? Sure. Whatever. Why would you even give me know. that option? Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. How? What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you were able to touch it. Correct. So I just need to keep this up. Something like that. Okay, so we literally just sniffed a bunch of flowers into our nose. You can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your actions just now advance your progress. Reach the end to clear the Somnium. You can view the controls in the menu. So I'm guessing this game is much more fun if you pick the most ridiculous things to do. Wait, why did the thorns go away? Just because it's a fucking dream and dreams do whatever the fuck? All right. Well, I guess we'll uh, do this. A switch. The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. But there's two. Why? Her hand was doing some weird shit just now. <gasps> Who's that? It's a ghost. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. No. I would rather be sleeping. <laughs> yep. Wait. Okay. Number one unlock. Turn on the light. Oh, now we gotta go back down the other way. But there's another mental lock in the Somnium. Unlock the next mental lock using the guide. Open the door as a lead. You can always check the tutorial by going to Menu, File, Appendix. I don't need to do that. I'm a boss ass bitch do what I want. Okay, here's some wine. A glass of wine. Drink it. Have a sip. One word, have a sip. I should smell Leave it, it again. Me. Hey. Ah. <laughs> I feel kind of good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? Oh god, this was a mistake. <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Okay, well, that did nothing of help. Skeleton. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Oh god, are we drunk? Are we drunk talking to the skeleton? skeleton? Yes. That's what just I said. Want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently ninety-two percent charged and feeling well. That's adorable. Hey, don't ignore me. Stupid bony man. Stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. Wow. She gets rude You're when finished. she's drunk. My disappointment is immeasurable. All right. Well, we've done nothing to progress this, but that was fun. A skeleton. Oh, we already talked. Maybe we can come back to the skeleton later. Standing lamp basket. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Kiss from a rose. Oh, wait. Well, how? Didn't mean to turn it off. I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, 
but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. Wait, what? That looks kind of dirty. Shut up. Wait, what? Okay, we're gonna come back to that lamp. Let's look in this basket. The basket? I cannot see inside it. Well, pull it out. Search. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra? And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Wait, how is any of that occult Somebody's stuff? Into the occult. Wait, what? This is somewhat different than occult. Just because it's a chupacabra? Can we talk to the skeleton about this occult stuff? A skeleton. <laughs> oh, we can. Okay, investigate. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. They should. It's clinging to some small bit of life? A skeleton. Do we need to, like, give the skeleton something? Let me... Well, we can't look at the basket again. Let's go to the lamp and try... Oh, yeah. It looks like a... Lifting it? Oh, we can't. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. Shut up, Date. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. Okay, is there something else in here that we missed? We can try kicking it. Mm -hmm. I'll try kicking it in a hot minute. A lamp. <laughs> what? You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. So the skeleton's attached to the lamp. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? You wanna kick the skeleton? Are you a thug? Okay, so a skeleton. Hit. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Well, that was a lot. What? I have a look. The wall. Open the door. Well, we just broke the entire house. Bye, beach. Um, oops. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Quit trying to psychoanalyze me, Aiba. Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? I don't know. Are you sure you don't know? Yeah, pretty sure. I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Uh, a nice looking old man? Boss's sleep talking. Hmm, a hidden item. Insomnia? There's always one somewhere. No more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. The kitchen then? Is there a hidden item in the kitchen? I take it we shouldn't really walk through those 
There's a gun right there. Maybe it's, oh, well, right here. What, what the heck? Is this my eyeball? Hold on, something just popped up on my computer. Okay, I think that's better. Wait, so we just picked up the eye and that was it? I guess so. Okay, so we found an eye. Presumably our eye. It's concept art for the game, etc. The hidden items are? Gun. A gun came out of the skull? Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. It's a key. Look. That's a key, bitch. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. To have guns? In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Wait, what? Who did you hear that from? It's a key gun. A gun. Pick it up. We're gonna have to stick it, it in the door. Won't go off. Wait, what? Just pick it up. It should be fine. Just don't point it at yourself. Gun safety, folks. Jeez. Look at this hot magnum. And maybe some crooks with this thing. Take your finger off the trigger unless you intend to kill something. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. You never place your finger on the trigger unless you intend to shoot something. Door. A door locked with a padlock. Put gun in keyhole. <laughs> Or we can shoot it. <laughs> Do you think something this size would fit? Yes. Might fit if you work it in a little. I mean, that entire flower pot, like, uh, fit up your nose holes. So I'm gonna say yes. Try just the tip. Please, Date. I Jesus. Suppose. Did he seriously just convince her with the just the tip line? <sighs> See, the gun was the key. No, oh, no way. Well, well, well. Seems I was key in helping us escape. <sighs> okay, that's it. This dream is over. There's a fair share of dick and boob jokes in this game. Oh, game developers. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. Wait, do we learn anything from that? I'll open it. Oh. Uh. Okay. Some old dude awaken. Date Date A acquired? Achievement unlocked. Memories hidden in something. I missed it. Okay. 